Hi. I hope you're enjoying your tour of our Aquaponics USA greenhouse. We're certainly having fun showing you everything. Um, we're back here at the back end of the greenhouse, right underneath where the um, swamp cooler vents are. And this is what we call grow bed number five. Um, this one we just harvested, harvested yesterday and we took out most of the lettuce. As you can see, there's just a little bit of lettuce left right here. And um, we took it out because, it, you know, the end of, it's the end of the season and it's time to replant lettuce. So I'm going to be replanting lettuce right here in this grow bed uh, in just like tomorrow. But what I want to show you is here's the lettuce that we uh, harvested yesterday and this is tonight's salad that we're making out of our own homegrown lettuce. This is just miraculous to me because I've never planted vegetables before in my life and having this greenhouse is just, uh, it's amazing to me that I can grow, I mean, vegetables grow so fast and so easily in, in an aquaponic system that it's just amazing. Here are our purple beans. These guys right here are the purple beans. And we got quite a lot of these. Again, uh, we're kind of at the end of the season on the purple beans as well. But we just had a wonderful soup that I fixed full of these purple beans. These guys turn green when you cook them, so they look like real beans, just regular beans when you cook them. Over here is basil. This is our basil. And we've got tons of basil drying at, right now in the house because we harvested a bunch of, of the basil yesterday too. Um, and we're going to be drying our own uh, basil for so we'll have it all winter long. And I'll probably plant a little bit more basil too in the very near future. Hydroton is wonderful to work with. It doesn't, you just sort of want to get your hands in it because it just feels so nice. It's so different than dirt. Here's our uh, water ring system, uh, pumping the water into the grow bed. Now, this particular system that you see right here, I've got my hands on two grow beds, but this is actually one system with one fish tank. And this is the FGS2 system. It has two grow beds. This grow bed is a flood and drain grow bed, which means that the water comes in and then it goes out and it's on a timed system. So it's about a 15 minute cycle where the water comes into the grow bed and then drains back out of the grow bed. This grow bed here is a continuous flood bed. So there's always water in this grow bed. It doesn't drain out, but it's, it's always new recirculated water, but it's always got water in it. And it's wonderful for your green leafy vegetables like the basil and the lettuce and spinach and things like that. So um, come on down this way and here are more beans. We've got lima beans here. Uh, here's one. Look at this one right here. Beautiful lima bean. Uh, big uh, purple, sometimes purple spotted and sometimes white lima beans. And then over here we got tons and tons of spinach. Um, we haven't been eating our spinach. Um, we need to follow in Popeye's footsteps here and harvest a bunch of spinach real soon here. Now we're on the back side of grow bed number five. And here's cilantro. And I need to pick some cilantro to put in that salad I just showed you because I haven't added my cilantro yet. Oh, it just smells so wonderful. <laughs> mm, yum, yum. <laughs> Okay, and now we're going to go um, to grow bed number three. This is number three. And we also just harvested out of grow bed number three this whole section right here, which were peas. Now, um, we didn't do well with the peas, and the reason we didn't do well with the peas is because they just got overrun by what was over here. What, what Yesterday, what was growing on uh, this trellis right here was cucumber. And the cucumber leaves got so huge, and the cucumbers, it was really, it, it, pulled, it produced a lot of really big cucumbers, but it really took over the whole pea situation. So I'm going to plant, plant peas here without the cucumbers, and the peas will do a whole lot better. And then um, over here on this side of the scrub bed is zucchini. 
and you can see it's flowering and if it were morning instead of afternoon we would have a ton of bees in here that you could see pollinating for us we've got just a whole gang of worker bees that come in every day it's like they've been standing in a queue waiting to come in the door we open up the door and in come all these bees it's so fun here's an example of the cucumbers that were all growing here just tons and tons of cucumbers big giant leaves uh, just up till yesterday and it was time to harvest and uh, pull out the cucumber plant and it's still uh, growing out a lot of squash you can see all these new guys and then over here in the corner is more summer squash and these are our tomatoes right here absolutely huge gigantic tomatoes going all the way up to the ceiling and out and <laughs> here come, come over here here's the beginning of our potato tomato plants right there all right mm -hmm. here come the tomatoes so we're gonna have a ton of tomatoes I'm gonna I just uh, did um, a skidoo lens um, about how to can tomatoes so I'm definitely gonna have to follow my own instructions and can a bunch of tomatoes this year uh, let's go this way because now we're back to our first row bed and again here's more tomatoes uh, which is why I said we're going to have a lot of tomatoes. These guys were planted probably four weeks ago. They were this high four weeks ago. And here they are at over two feet high today. Uh, back here on the trellis are melons. We've got a miniature watermelon growing here. And we've got some honeydew and cantaloupe kind of melons as well. So um, right now, that's what's happening out here. Um, this is our first planting, this is our first grow out, and we're going to be experimenting with a lot more veggies as we move along, and we'll keep you posted. Now, in just a little while, why don't you come on out here with me for a second. In just a little while, I'm going to be planting seeds, I'm going to be planting seeds into this um, seedling tray. It's got a soaked rock wool cube in it, and the seeds are going to go right in those little holes right there. And then I'm going to put this humidifying cover on top of it, and I'm going to put this seedling tray all planted back into the greenhouse, and it's going to sprout. And then those sprouts are going to go into the grow beds where you saw all that empty space. So our next video coming up is going to be that whole process of planting in the seed trays, uh, soaking your Rockwell cube because you need to soak it at a certain pH level so it, it's, it receives the seeds and gives them really healthy moisture. And um, we're going to have a whole video on how to do that. So we're going to put out several videos that can show you step by step how to grow plants in your greenhouse aquaponically. Thank you so much for visiting us. We're so happy you came, and we can't wait to see you again. Bye.